what it takes to become top dog <laughs> and pocket a cool 10 grand I think I will win it could you spend the whole two days with a team of strangers I really did feel like I was on the brink and then have the balls to weed out their weaknesses I don't think so <laughs> could you make them squirm in front of millions revenge is sweet force them to perform tasks you know they'll fail I am going to be completely ruthless in that studio. Could you be the most manipulative lowlife to walk the face of the planet? Joanne is a bit of a pin in the back, to be honest. Because let me tell you, in here, it's dog eat dog. <laughs> dog eat dog. <laughs> Come on, Snoop. Tomorrow, 6.55, BBC One. Next! Only the ruthless survive. The New Radio Times has features and previews on forthcoming BBC programmes and listings for all major television channels. Now, these are pigeon. I was just driving past the silly hall. <laughs> From the street to the kitchen. I'm going to put an apron on here, Paul, because I'll be bogging by the end of the day. Because boys will be boys. <laughs> I'm never working with you again. That's twice and you keep making me look like a plonker. Those are rubbish. I've never had rice in a, in a lemon tart. Charlie Lawson at large on Celebrity Rankin Challenge. Am I stupid or are you, are you asking the same question at home? Wednesday at 10.35 on BBC One. Marking Easter now on BBC One, an all-star cast brings to life the greatest story ever told. holiday destination, Ferratine, and a great place to grow up. The last trains ran on this line in July 1950. And for four years afterwards, it became our adventure playground. We really knew that the season had arrived when the circus came to town. A town lit by love and sunshine. Easter Monday at 10.55 on BBC One. News is all around us, and in a place like this, you can see and hear how much it affects the community. Everyone has to relax, and this is a great way to do it. News is part of all our lives. Newsline is in touch with what's going on, because your world is our world too. Wallace and Gromit have a grand day out here on BBC One at five past five. Well, they do need their creature comforts. And I go. And don't forget Wallace and Gromit's grand day out. BBC One, five past five. Ah, why did you marry my da? See, and I had a wedding dress in the sale. <laughs> so you think you could write comedy? Could you write funny <laughs> stories that would make an audience of thousands laugh? Then you should enter the Radio Nation's Comedy Cup, a radio sitcom competition for new comedy writers where the winning script is produced for BBC Radio Ulster. BBC Talent, still on the mission to find the best of the nation's talent. The Flintstones movie on BBC One in five minutes after Pingu. is heading east. We're going to the land of Ruby Murray. Where Charlie's not the only hot dish. It's all getting a bit fraught. All right. <laughs> In a situation like this, I shall take charge. A spicy special from Delhi. I know it's India, but it may rain, so I'm going to be prepared. I don't think we've ever done a garden as complicated. Fires up a brand new series of ground falls. Does he have move for you? That's it. Can we go home now? If you must. Wednesday, 10 past 9 on BBC One. Have a look at 
like this. Animals! So what are they fighting about now? TV licence. TV licence? Yeah, which one's going to pay it? Oh! Oh, that's got to hurt. Not really. It could be just a smidge over £9 a month when you pay by direct debit. Not that Dino or Rex would know that. Brains the size of peas. <laughs> Come on, love. Oh, get her. Don't be a dinosaur. There's an easier way to pay for your TV licence. Direct debit. Call now for details on 0800 328 2020. This is BBC One with the modern Stone Age family. On the side. Roswell conspiracy has begun. You wanted a slice of action? Cut with attitude. Well, it's about time. You've got it. We know it's Easter and we know it's spring. So we've home delivered the hottest feast for you these holidays. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Holiday Heart from 7 all week, only on CBBC. Now, these are pigeon. I was just driving past the silly hole. <laughs> From the street to the kitchen. I'm going to put an apron on here, Paul, because I'll be bogging by the end of the day. Because boys will be boys. <laughs> I'm never working with you again. That's twice, and you keep making me look like a plonker. Those are rubbish. I've never had rice in a, in a lemon tart. Charlie Lawson at large on Celebrity Rankin Challenge. Am I stupid, or are you, are you asking the same question at home? Wednesday at 10.35 on BBC One. Wanted. Fun-loving families with a sense of adventure, willing to try new challenges and games. Must have a sense of humour and enjoy the outdoor life. Ability to negotiate tricky obstacles and love of water, essential. So is your family up for some fun? Would you like to represent your town? Town Challenge is coming to your area in June, so why not ring us 08700 100 900 or email town.challenge at bbc.co.uk. Celebrate Easter here on BBC One with Wallace and Gromit. We've three classic adventures to come this weekend, starting now with something cheesy. And these Wallace and Gromit fun packs are now available on CD-ROM. On a windswept casement park, two gallant school teams fought each other and the elements for 60 very long minutes. The result after all their efforts was a tie. Honours were even and the day was not lost. And so the final gets played again. Catch the best of the action from the McCrory Cup replay. Easter Day at 1 on BBC Two. Matthew Broderick. You may be the wrong man for the job, but I think you're cute. Discovers size matters. How close did you get to the thing? I got pretty close. In the network premiere. What do we do? Running would be a good idea. Godzilla, Easter Monday at 8.45 on BBC One. So you think you have what it takes to become top dog? <laughs> and pocket a cool ten grand? I think I will win it. Could you spend a whole two days with a team of strangers? I really did feel like I was on the brink. And then have the balls to weed out their weaknesses? I don't think so. <laughs> Could you make them squirm in front of millions? Revenge is sweet. Dog eat dog. Come on, Snoop. Tomorrow, 6.55, BBC One. Next! Only the ruthless survive. My own BBC One, the news, with Darren Jordan. The government admits it's struggling to meet its slaughter targets for foot and mouth. Farmers say delays in culling and disposal are worsening by the day. A record Easter rush at the airport, but tourism here is still down. And Leeds take a step closer to Champions League football with a 2-1 win over Liverpool.
Good evening. The Ministry of Agriculture has admitted the slaughter of livestock to try to stop foot and mouth is not happening fast enough. It says although animals with the disease are being culled within 24 hours, almost a third of those on neighbouring farms are being left alive too long, and the bodies of more than 400,000 slaughtered animals are still waiting to be burnt or buried. This is Samuel Chestnut's herd. Animal husbandry now means making sure pollution from his rotting cattle doesn't reach the stream at the bottom of the hill. It flows into Roadford Reservoir, one of the main water supplies for the southwest. The cows have been dead for days. He's even offered to pay for burial himself. If we don't know the health risk, what any disease or anything would be in this, so this is a very serious situation, and this is why I would like these animals removed as quickly as possible. But if we leap in and make the wrong... Vets too are unhappy. At the disease control centre in Newcastle, they told the Agriculture Minister Joyce Quinn that her department was... Act that was awkward.